Well, this is obviously the the cream of the crop as far as the records are concerned. This is a career rushing record for the entire state of Indiana and the history of Indiana high school football since they've been keeping records. So this is the big one. Uh, and it couldn't come, the honor couldn't come to a greater kid. And I tell everybody all the time, Sammy's a better kid than he is uh, a football player. Uh, this obviously will be a great reward and an award for him, but this is a program award. This is something that's for the last four years, every kid that's donned an Elwood Panther uniform, this is they're part of this. Uh, and I think Sam would be the first one to tell you that too. So this is, uh, I, I can't just put into words how important this is uh, to not only this program, the school, but the entire community itself. I can, I can remember ever since I was real little, fifth grade, we used to be on the Cowboys, like at a youth football field. I always said I always wanted to be the best and break all these records in high school. And then when it actually came, I got close this year and I just realized, like, wow, that's within grass. And it's just, you got to take it one day at a time. You can't look ahead, like, oh, I need so many yards this game, that game. You just got to go out, practice each week like it's normal. Try not to just dwell on think about it real much. We view it as an accomplishment for us, too. And uh, yeah, we talk about it, you know a little bit, and uh, how great it would be just to you know block for the greatest running back in you know Indiana, and uh, yeah, um, and we take a lot of pride in that. When it's all said and done, when they do an autopsy, he's going to have the heart the size of a, a lion, and I tell people that all the time. Uh, just the, his work ethic, his refusal to get tackled. He has great vision. He has great balance. He makes he's a great uncanny awareness of how to make people miss. Uh, and early in his career, he was taking too many hits. And we finally talked him in and convinced him that hey, every once in a while, it's okay to run out of bounds. Get what you can get, go out of bounds, and live for the next down. Uh, and I think he's gotten better at that over the course of the last two years, especially. I couldn't have done any of this without my line. You know, I've had most of them it's been there ever since I've. We've had a few of my senior class with me starting, and I started running the ball, and just my receivers, London, Titan, Jared, they all help block roll and make good holes for me, and that's how I can run.